This man has served for over two decades in Ukraine's special forces, so he asked that VOA not use his name. In 2008, he retired due to poor health. But when Russia annexed Crimea in 2014, he had to step up. He is wearing a mask to protect his identity. Many made the same decision in 2014 and became volunteers. Work near Donetsk, Avdivka, Krasnohorvika, Slavyansk. Volunteer groups like this one in Sumy aren't just a local militia. They are more like armed city workers. They serve as a local crime watch group. They guard crucial infrastructure, they man roadblocks and generally train for war in case Russian forces try to come back to Sumy. This man in a pink sun hat is 61. The other volunteers call him Grandpa. Another volunteer, Alek, goes by the name Professor. Before the war, he taught at one of Ukraine's universities. I taught engineering to BA and MA students and future PhD candidates. When I told them I swapped my notebook for a machine gun, they said, you are doing the right thing. I'd also go protect my family. Entrepreneur Andrian came from Lviv. When the war began, he helped women and children evacuate from the country's east to the Polish border. And he has continued to help. I brought humanitarian aid to a local fire station and just stayed in Sumy. It was tough to get my wife to agree to this. But then we arrived at a decision. And now things are as they should be. I'm where I need to be. Andrian tried to join Ukraine's armed forces in 2014, but he wasn't allowed to due to his poor health. That's why this time he joined the volunteer battalion, like many others here. I had heart surgery 18 months ago. This volunteer, who goes by the name Fifth, has some military experience. In 1980s, he served at Nagorno-Karabakh. War is war, the same everywhere. There are deaths, parents' grief, adults, children, destruction. Unlike the territorial defense units, volunteer fighters are not getting paid by the state. The urban community pays them $175 a month in social aid, five times less than territorial defense fighters get. Despite the low pay, in Sumy there is still plenty of volunteers willing to serve. For Alena Adaminka in Sumy, Ukraine, NRIs, VOA News.